In this video, we're going to show you how to remove and replace a harmonic balancer on a 3.6 Grand Cherokee. So we're going to remove the engine cover so we have better uh, accessibility. Pull up on it and get it out of the way. So we're going to remove our air intake tube and it's two clamps, one on the throttle body side and one on the air box side. You can use a flat screwdriver or an 8 millimeter socket. That's good. Now we got it. This is the air temp, so we're gonna take that sensor off by squeezing that tab. Now we can rock this back and forth. And move us over right over here to the air box. And this is an eight millimeter socket. And remove that. We're going to remove the surf belt, and by doing that, we're gonna take tension off the tensioner. 3 8 extension and ratchet, slide it right off. And get that right out of the way. Set it aside. 27 millimeter socket to remove this crank bolt. Half inch drive. Now we can take it out. And now we can grab that harmonic balancer and just give it a pull, slide it right off. Now we're gonna line up the keyway, that's that notch right here in that shaft. And find the keyway on the crank. Just simply guide it on and then spin it till you feel it sink in. And there it is. Take our Crank bolt, start it by hand. I'm gonna snug it up with a 3 8 drive and then we'll torque it to factory specs. So now we have to hold this harmonic balancer and torque it. So I have a little tool here that's gonna fit right into the grooves of that balancer, like that and it gives you space so that you can put your torque wrench on there, on that nut. So it says 30 foot-pounds and then an additional 105 degrees. So we're gonna go right to 30. That's 30 foot-pounds. And now we're going to adjust it so that it will go to 105 degrees. That's at 105 degrees. Now we can put our surf belt back on. And it's kind of self-explanatory the way it goes. You put the groove part in the groove pulleys and in the smooth, on the smooth pulleys. Now, Make sure it's sitting and everything you can line it up with. Take your 3 8 ratchet. Pull up on that tensioner. Slide it around that alternator. Bring it up there. Now I like to run the car. Run it for like two seconds. Just go in, start it up, let it run and then shut it off and I come out and make sure that it's sitting in all the grooves, there's no marking, it didn't fall off. Then I'll run it for a good five, 10 minutes and make sure it doesn't uh, come unseated. Now we can put our air tube on. Line up both sides, get that clamp on there. There we go, make sure it's snug in place. That's a flat head screwdriver and an eight millimeter socket. I'm gonna snug this up. I'm gonna use a swivel socket on this to tighten this up. Give it a tug. 
Now we're going to connect that air sensor. So now we're going to take our engine cover, line it up. It's got three little rubber tabs in there. I'm going to place those down on top. Make sure you line up the oil cover. Give it a good push down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.